Yeah, my first question to him this morning was, you got enough juice for one more? And there was an enthusiastic response. Um, they had two days off. We needed it after the grind of the season that we've had. Um, hopefully they got some of the celebration out of them the last couple of days. And I told them, uh, we're done patting ourselves on the back over that game. It's time to go back to work. Um, and they showed up, did a great job today. Yeah, you know, we held them to 13, uh, but we came up with some timely uh, turnovers. They had the ball down in our area a couple times, and Kyle Gibson got a pick, and Shaquem forced a fumble that we recovered. Um, otherwise, that game would have been closer. And we got the breaks in the first game, and we created the breaks, I would say. Um, we're going to have to do that again. You know, and, and usually those games come down to turnovers. Uh, we definitely deserve to win that game, but some things went our way, and we're going to have to make that happen again. Well, that kind of crowd better show up. Uh, <laughs> this is for all the marbles in the conference, and as many big games and good games we've played in, uh, this, one, this one matters the most. So uh, hopefully it's full and rocking again, and I, I think it did give our guys a lift. So I uh, hope everybody shows up and, and comes back out and gives us the same kind of support. I, you know, I'm not going to say much. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how much I care about these players. Uh, and that's going to be, it's been true in my past, it's going to be true every year that I'm coaching. Um, and, and our entire staff is that way. These guys are special. And uh, they deserve my best. I've said that all year. They deserve our coaching staff's best. Um, every year in college football, there's tough decisions to make. And, and those kind of things happen, and, and when the time's right, uh, we'll make them. I know it would be really hard to lead this team because of, of how much love I have for this group of guys and how much effort they've given us. Um, so uh, all I'm going to do is go back to my office and watch more film. And um, This shouldn't be about me. I know the questions are going to come, but these guys have earned the right to have the conversation be about them and about the game they want on Friday and the game they're going to play this Saturday. And this shouldn't be about me or the future or anything else. It should be about this group of kids. I'd be hurt if Nebraska wasn't interested in me. We're, we're undefeated. I'm from there. Um, I, I, when you win, a lot of people are interested in you. That doesn't matter. Like I said, what matters is these players and what they've accomplished. And um, they deserve the focus to be on them and not me. No, I don't even want to bring it up. Uh, I just want them to see me continue to work and, and do everything I can to help them finish this off. And when they see that, they've been doing the exact same thing. I've been doing my thing. I'm doing my thing here. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a loyal guy, and I'm, I'm loyal to my family, and I'm loyal to people that care about me. I'm loyal to this coaching staff. I'm loyal to these kids. I'm, you know, I'm loyal to my alma mater, but I, I'm more loyal to the people that I'm going to battle with every day. And that's been at Kansas State and Northern Iowa and Oregon and here. And, um, right now my loyalties lie with these players. More emphasis on defense. Uh, we practice every day. Um, listen, I, and I've said this, and this probably isn't politically the right thing to say, but uh, the conference kind of put us at, at a disadvantage on Friday. Um, USF had a, a week off. From what we hear, they were preparing for us. Then they played a Thursday game against Tulsa, and then they had eight days for us. We went on the road to Temple, didn't get back until 10 at night, and had to turn around and practice the next day. Um, then we get out on the field, and they have an entirely different defense prep for us. We couldn't have done that if we'd have wanted to in five days. Um, they had a lot more time to get ready for that game than we did, and I think it showed. Uh, I think it showed in the way our, our kids looked tired and had, we had more cramps and other things for the first time all year. Uh, they didn't get a day off in 13 days. And um, our team overcame, so I'm proud of them. Uh, we're going to be rested and ready to go in the next one. And every time our defense uh, or offense hasn't had its best week, uh, there's a little bit of extra motivation to play well the next week. And, we're playing against a really good team, but I expect our defense will do that. Well, I want my players to think that way. Um, this game is huge, and I want, I want the guys to feel like this is the only one that matters, and I know they will. Uh, but win or lose this game, this team's done something that I don't know if it's ever been done in college football history. And um, 
if we don't come out on top on Saturday, I'll, I'll be devastated and so will they. But I, I know they'll look back on this season and, and realize how much they accomplished. Um, but I don't even want to think about that because I want to go out on Saturday and get it done.